Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial with the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. Um, so if you guys want to see how I get my look, keep on watching. So first off, I'm going to start off as usual with my color corrector. I'm so sorry that I haven't been here in a week. Life has really been taking me on a plunge. Nothing has been happening. I've just been traveling a lot. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, do this tutorial because I haven't seen you guys in a while and I really miss recording and filming. This is going to be the last break that you guys see of me. Um, I thought it was going to be last week, but haha. <laughs> I lied um, so basically um, I bought this dose of colors collection with my own money and I love it so much so I had to come and talk to you guys about why I like it and why I'll be using certain products more so first I have never bought from dose of colors before so as I said this is my first purchase and wow I am kind of impressed um, I'm going to do my face as usual. Nothing really is different until I get to the eyes. I bought the eyeshadow palette, which is the girl's eyeshadow palette. I also bought the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the highlighting powder in Mirame. When I went on the website and I saw the colors, I kind of thought that they wouldn't work for my skin tone. But as you see in this tutorial, as you keep on watching, um, they really did. This is my first Morphe palette in a while. I bought the Morphe 35O palette as well as the brush that you see me using for foundation. Um, and I really like this palette. It has a lot of neutral colors, which I really wanted. I don't have a palette that really has a lot of neutral colors. And I used a lot of neutral colors to build this eye look. It's actually a very simple eye look. I just used like three colors in the Morphe palette. When you get the package, it's in this beautiful rose gold packaging, which is so nice to me. I really like packaging, so this is so nice. And it comes in this uh, nice glittery. If I put it under the flash, it really sparkles. And it comes with four colors, and I will swatch each of them on my finger, on my hand, like I'm doing now. I'm gonna let you guys know it says you should use it wet so I was assuming that that's why the colors were not showing up that um, pigmented um, I only used one color however when I sprayed a little bit of setting spray on my hand before putting on these shadows after I swatched them on my arm I noticed that they work so much better which is what they said so you have to use these shadows wet they are specifically for you to use them wet all of them so if you want to use them spray a little bit of fix plus or anything on your brush before you go in so this is one coat of the color and I didn't put any fix spray or anything but if you see now when I go in with the second coat you see that it's more pigmented because I sprayed some type of setting spray on it I'm going to use the Mirame highlighter which is fast becoming my favorite when I saw it I was like wow they did so well with this highlighter because 
I really like the color. I like the color because it has that rosy peachiness that I really like in my highlights. This is what I've noticed works really well on my skin tone. And when I put it on my nose, as you can see, I was very shocked. I was like, wow, this is actually really nice. So I have been using this highlighter. Um, I used it yesterday and I also used it today. And I'm gonna say this is really one of my favorites. And shout out to them for coming up with a collection that works on all skin tones and you know just coming up with something that i feel like i'm comfortable wearing um and you know it just really makes me happy when influencers do these things and have these collaborations that work for all skin tones uh, my lips i'm lining my lips with the black radiance brown liner and then this color as soon as i saw it i knew that i was going to like it but i absolutely love it if you guys know i've been following me for a while you know naturally transformed is one of my favorite nude lipsticks but this just became my second favorite I put the gloss right on top. This is the over the top gloss. It has little gold flecks in it. And I really, really enjoyed this. If you want to see how I got this hair, um, it will be in my tutorial after this. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions about the, the tutorial or anything that I've done, leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next videos. And I really miss you guys. And I know that this is, I'm back for good. I promise I'm back for good. Love you. Have a great week. Bye.